Okay, welcome back. Video number four about Paperize, a tool used for creating components for board games in prototyping, but also for other more serious applications, you could argue. Uh, so we're looking at, uh, we have looked at how to add layers to a card uh, or creating a card, adding layers with text and images. Now we're going to look at actually how to print stuff. There's a, uh, or export is a better term for it. Uh, there's a button here called print game which means uh, make a PDF of this game. I just did this a few seconds ago. Um, and that's why I already have a PDF with this name. It exports all the cards in a PDF. I save this. I can open it. And here we have the cards. And as you can see, these are uh, neck to neck with each other, which isn't really what you want to have if you uh, want to cut out cards uh, by hand or something or do it in, in a more professional way then you want to have a millimeter or something between them uh, which can be uh, done but not in in the print settings I think um, in, in the print settings you can change some things I I live in Europe so I use a4 uh, paper you probably live in the United States you might be using US letter never mind um, Oops. You could also select tabletop simulator to have things uh, fit well in, uh, for importing into tabletop simulator. I'm not going to go into details here. But let's see. If I want to have a, a small, small edge between every paper, uh, every card, I could go into the template and I could change this background image dimensions the inset here say I have want to have 0.1 millimeter let's make that 0.2 millimeters or something like this very small uh, frame around this uh, every card I'm gonna I removed this banana line I made in the previous video and that gives me an error because it can't pick up card number four. So I'm going to reload here and then print the game again. And we can see that we have some nice edge around the cards. Here we go, which is kind of nice. All right, so this is... Um, you create cards and then you can export them into PDF, print them out and cut them out, or just have a PDF or uh, convert it to a PNG uh, and import into a tabletop simulator or something like that. Um, all right, in the next video, we're going to have a look at what's called uh, something called magic properties. See you in that video. Bye.